Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is Testing Tuesday. We're going to test out some products and see how they do. And, you know, if you have a suggestion, you want me to test out something, I, one, will take your suggestions, and two, you can check out my Amazon wish list because it's probably on there because it's really long. It's a really long wish list. Anyway, before we get started, let's say howdy to my pal, my love, my darling, my executive producer, Mr. Michael Sean Carter. I have a long list, too. <laughs> oh, that's what no, said. no, not, not, I mean, no. Anyway, hey, happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome to Testing Tuesday. We're so glad you're here. Okay, and we chat, want to honey. thank everyone that has showed up here on the Tuesday evening. We want to say thank you to our lovely moderators who we love so much, Cheryl and Doris. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, let's see, looking in the chat tonight. Ooh, there's Melissa. Hey, Melissa. Mary Beth is, oh no, it's Mary Lou. Mary Yay! Lou is here. And let's see, who else, who else? Oh, there is Diane, Diane and Tony. Hi, Hello. Diane, hi, Tony. D&D &D Art Gallery. <laughs> Patricia's here. Hey, Patricia. And, oh, I see the other Tish is here. Tish number one, that would be Naptime Creations. Hello, Tish, good to see you. <laughs> And it looks like Gina Bina is here. Hey, Gina, Gina Bina. And, and he's here too. Wow. Cool. Wow. The gang's all here. It's awesome to see you all. So grateful you could take some time out of your busy schedule to spend some time with us and our shenanigans. So, yes. Oh, there's Julie. Hello, hey. Julie. Hey, Julie. Yeah. So, tonight we're going to play around with Apple Barrel. And you may be going, well, why the flop are you playing around with Apple Barrel when you love Windsor and Newton and Golden and all these things? Well, Good you know question. what? Not everybody has access. One, has access to those paints. Two, has the budget for those paints. So we're going to start <clears throat> playing around with the Apple Barrel paints more often um on testing tuesday and see how they do with other products such as this dragonfly glaze i wanted to call it the dragon glaze just you know omit the whole fly thing because i love dragons but um i love dragonflies too so um but anyway we're going to be using the red violet blue shift and i got when we went to paducah um i went to michael's and i got the other color the green it's green, blue, and purple, I believe. Um, so we're going to try that out too. But I wanted to see how the how this would work with Apple Barrel. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix it with the black. Excuse me, I got the hiccups again for like the bajillionth time today. So my mix here, um, because Apple Barrel is a craft paint and it's a it's a thinner thinner paint than what I usually use. I used one and a half parts Floetrol to one part paint. So basically it was six ounces of Floetrol to four ounces of paint. And that's what we got here. And we got that nice thick um, <clears throat> uh, three trace. So I'm going to measure out. I'm thinking I'm going to do two ounces of, of uh, paint that's already mixed. I'm gonna try this here. Do, do, do. See if I can pour paint without spilling it all over the blessed place. Okay, there's two ounces. There we go. So we've got black and then bright magenta and purple iris is the other one. And so it's all the apple barrel. And I got the big bottles because the little bottles, one, well, they didn't have the colors I wanted. And two, this is actually less expensive to buy it this way. So I'm going to try just a half ounce of paint with this. We're going to see what we get. So, come on, baby. Anybody else talk to their paint like I do? <laughs> 
Okay, so we're going to see what we get with a half ounce to two ounces. So that would be four to one. I'm going to see if. That hey, is. Julie's not feeling too good tonight. Aww. And we send our our love to her. Yes, Please absolutely. get to feeling better, get some rest. And we're glad that you jumped in and said uh, howdy. And Let's do Let's give Julie some love and hope she's feeling better. We're going to go up to an ounce. And you're like probably going, why are you using black? Because I want to see how it works in black. Because I tried it against white and it works really well with white. And stuff is like really super thicky. So we're going to take little bit this is the last of the one bottle I've got two bottles though thank goodness I'm gonna take a little bit of Floetrol and water squirt it in there <laughs> I'm really frugal like I I like clean out all my bottles of paint with Floetrol and water and then I use it to thin my other paints so it, it, it's a whole little smorgasbord of things going on so <clears throat> Cheryl says, Tish, I talk to my paint all the time. It listens so much better than my cats or my sweet hubby. <laughs> uh, definitely better than my cat. Uh, Michael listens pretty well, I have to say. Huh? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Listen to you, mister. I'm going to be funny. <laughs> 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 Okay, so let's try two to one. We'll see how this works. It looks, it, it actually looks really good. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up on the shimmer that's there, but it's there. Okay, so <clears throat> other Tish is asking you, have you ever poured with pure paint using the apple barrel? With pure paint? Uh, maybe like when I first started. Um, says it works well with Crafts Smart brand paints. Crafts uh, Craft Smart, that's the, yeah, yeah the Craft Michaels Smart. brand. Yeah. I've never done it with I, I I've never done it with the Michaels brand. I know I did it with Apple Barrel because that's what I had when I first started all this shenanigans. So I'm gonna check consistency. We're gonna put just a little bit more of this. This is mostly full troll and water. So. Take the stick out for a second so I can get a more accurate measurement. And then Diane is asking that she has metallic powder. Tony got some today to go into her paints. Have you worked with this before? Um, depends on what kind of powder it is. <clears throat> Most of those um, work better with like acrylic binders and stuff like that. I haven't gotten a chance to play around with any of that yet because it's kind of expensive. And um, or I'd say save it for resin. That's my opinion, but that's just because I haven't, I don't have all of that stuff, but um, there we go. So, um, there are people that, that do use it, like the um, Primal Elements, I think it's called. I don't know. There's a lot of things that I haven't tried because, you know, just one is time. <clears throat> I just haven't had time. Okay. All right. There's Elisa. She's joined the chat. Hello, Elisa. <laughs> How are you doing there in Colorado? I know you are near the wildfire area, or the smoke part of it anyway. Um, I, I saw that on the news, and I'm like, that's where Elisa lives. And my friend Sean, that's no bueno. I tried mixing metallic mica powder with Botrell, and it cracked when it tried. Yeah, primary elements. Thank you, Tish. I knew that there was some product out there 
So this is my regular mix of house paint, titanium white and Floetrol. Um, we're just going to use a little bit of it just to kind of um, add that contrast. I want a little bit. Of course, I get a lot of bit. I'm going to do the two with white on top and two with white on the bottom just to see what happens. So do purple. Let's do pink first. Magenta first. Little Miss would be upset with me because I called it pink. see how this the other ones I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one because I want you to see how they dry oh come on my hands want to don't want to cooperate whoa all the Hannah Tish Oh, see, this is what happens when I pour out of a big cup. I'm going to try something here. Take some of the paint out because there's no room for anything else in there. Okay, now we're getting to the pink. Okay. Little pink won't a yeah, little pink won't hurt it. Ah, magenta. Jeez. Come on, Tish, call it by the right name. So Monica's gotten in on the chat. We've got Lisa. Awesome. And let's see, who else? And then we're going to do a little bit of white bottom here. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm bringing the container up higher, it's so we can get the gravity to help us push the paint down to the, the bottom. So we get it on all levels. All right, let me move these sticks out of here. <laughs> Michael was helping me get the foils off of the pink paint out of the magenta paint because it was stuck like super glue. <laughs> and my hands don't want to cooperate. Okay, we're just going to flip all of these because we're only doing four, so it should be okay. We say hello to Angela. <laughs> It's just all flowing off the one end, so we'll just help it along. There we go. I don't think we're going to get a lot, a lot of cells with this paint. I didn't add any silicone because I'm I'm a lazy artist and I don't want to have to scrub my paintings before I co clear coat them.
Where's Tina when we need her? <laughs> Tina loves pink. Magenta, magenta, magenta. There you go. Goodness. Okay. We're going to leave that one just like that. Actually, let's see if it stays. Dude. I'm going to pick this one up and move it over here. There we go. Okay. You got you some coffee. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, thank that. You. you are awesome. That helps me so much. It helps our channel buy supplies and pay for StreamYard. And, you know, might, <laughs> I might actually hire a photographer. Because <laughs> photographing artwork is hard. <laughs> Because I'm picky. I'm very, very picky. And I'm, I'm getting very, very frustrated. I did get something done today, though. I did get some pictures taken that I'm, I'm okay with. I don't love them, but I don't hate them either. So, all right, let's, let's go this way. Can I help this out a little bit? Sure that we got all the sides. Go. I'm gonna tip this one this way a little bit. Go. I like that. Oopy doopy. <laughs> one thing I gotta say is this is. I feel like this is more messy because it's a little bit. I feel like it's just more messy. Maybe it's just because I, I feel it's the same consistency that I normally use. It's just, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe it's just my brain. Okay. Let's do this one next. Now I might have to try that just straight. Next time we go to Walmart, I'll have to get some more colors. Michael's thinking, oh, good God, we got to go back to the craft department. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to say, you guys, Michael was a trooper when we went into the Michael's store, the, the craft store. He was awesome. He actually found a model to do. No, it's it's a really cool place. So it's it's got a lot of um, you know great stuff. And and I, you know, as as a young boy back in the day, built models just like Ravel. And there was a AMT had a lot of licensing for a lot of the science fiction uh, franchises that were out there. So. You know, um, I got into a lot of World War II aviation, which I was really big in because I, I was big into aeronautics and aviation. So I built a lot of stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, they got a lot of cool stuff there at Michael's. Yeah, they do. Like way too much cool stuff. Yeah. 
And it's a bigger Michaels than what I'm used to, which is actually kind of weird considering I was in, you know, a smaller city, but <laughs> what did Cheryl say? If you hire Elisa, I will come along and be her photographer's assistant. You know, I don't think I, I don't I, I would, but she lives in Colorado. <laughs> it's an awfully long way to drive, and I don't have that in my budget to fund that whole adventure. Does Trooper Michael wear a trooper's hat and badge? Is he packing? Yeah. Yeah. He he did it one time. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was I was a sheriff, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Had a badge. That leather gear. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Oh! Oh, yeah, baby. Ah! <laughs> um, yeah. They don't want to hear about that, honey. But, um, yeah. Polyester. Yes. Yeah. You look damn fine, too. But then again, I'm partial. Oh, I got it. She said I was a trooper. You said I was a trooper. Yeah, you were yeah, a trooper. I was, okay, now I get it. Okay. Duh. <laughs> Dame Bramage. Yeah. You've had a rough day. This is this has been like another Monday today, but uh, oh well. It's all good. <laughs> nice relaxing evening. Yep. Okay. So tip this a little Actually, bit. we had a good time in Kentucky. We had lots of fun. The yeah, food was, was mediocre was... though. That was kind of I was kinda I was kind of bummed out about that. But yeah, it's a really cool place. It's it's you know it's indigenous just to Paducah, and the odd thing of it is is it's always been spectacular food. It's it's kind of like a like if you're a parrot head and into Jimmy Buffett and, and the whole it's a, it's a really cool place. It is, and it's it, not it, a franchise. It had a great it, menu. Yeah, but but the food was way overcooked, like burnt. Like I would say, yeah, it was burnt, which is. Really odd. Never, never have had that happen. I do not turn down onion rings, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I turned these down. I ate like four of them. I'm like, nope, can't do anymore. So we did I'm not sad. have dessert there, but no. we did go to Cold Stone. Yes. And um, got cake batter. Lisa Wyatt's in Kentucky. We were in Paducah. So I don't know what part of Kentucky you're in, but that's where we That one's got a lot of things. All right. So let's move these a little bit. Goodness gracious. That's a mess. Is that iPhone? <laughs> it's over on the table. I just want to make sure it's not my, not your phone. Nope. Okay. One thing. Oh, before I forget, I got all excited because I saw something. Um, we went to this. I don't even know what store it was. It was in the mall, and Michael got lost in the movies there because he's a movie buff, and and so am I. But I'm more. I'm like whatever, <laughs> right now. But next week, we will be playing around with a new product. And this <laughs> is the world's smallest hair dryer. Yeah. I didn't know this was a thing. I saw the the leaf blower, but I never saw this one before. But hey, I live under a rock, so it could just be a thing. But it's got an extra long cable, but on boom. So we're gonna see how this goes. That's next week. I wanted to play some more around with the dragonfly glaze. We're going to play some with the dragonfly glaze, but we're going to do a Dutch pour with it and see how it does. Um, Pia says she's got to go. Oh, and okay, Pia, yeah. we love that you showed up. I did promise to show the painting from the uh, Friday Night Flip Cup. Tell you what, I will promise that we will tomorrow night. During Artpalooza. I mean, 
right at the beginning. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll show that. Just, I think I just brought them out to Studio B. Yeah. That's it's, why it's we forgot. There. Yeah, it's getting clear coded. And so we've got that in another part of the uh, of the, the property <laughs> <laughs> of the residence. Like okay. we're on some plantation out here. No. <laughs> It, yeah, but it's 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 my little it's my little dungeon. I love it. It's, I love that. Where it's look except at, for it was look really at that. cold. Man, that's but, like galactic looking. Which actually someone mentioned in the chat. Yeah, this is very cool. I'm glad the the freckles came up because they look like little stars. But um, we'll see if the shimmer comes through on the black because I can't really see it right now. I apologize for the glare. I'm still working on a solution for that. Um, Cause there is a, <laughs> okay. Just a quick update. I pour on a stove. Okay. Underneath here is a stove and above me is the, the vent for the stove. So I can't rightly just put something over that, but I could, but you know, it's not going to work real well. Let's just put it that way. It's not like whatever. So there are these. And I'm going to show these off. And then I'm going to go grab one of the ones, the Dutch pour that I did with the one colors. i got to wipe my hands off better. So we've got a bunch of little kind of galactical looking ones. We're going to see how these dry. Um, and what kind of things like that. So give me a moment here. Let me wipe off my hands one more time. I'm going to go grab that dragonfly glaze ones. All right, Lisa. Elisa says she's got to go. Saying good All night right. to everyone. Hey, Lisa, be safe out there, honey. Okay, so this is one that I did. <clears throat> I think I did these on Artapalooza, but you're not going to be able to see. Now I got the hiccups. Oh, there you go. You see that line of shimmer that runs through there, right through there? That's the dragonfly glaze. Because there is copper underneath it, which you see right there. But then when you angle it a different direction, you get the other color. You can kind of see it in the white there. That's why I said I played with it in white. I wanted to see how it played in black. So the I'm I, I if I didn't like this product, I went to bought more of it. I would have said, okay, I'm done. Um, but I bought more and I would have bought more of the same color, but that was the only the only they didn't have any more of this. So I'm hoping that Walmart does. Um and I hope it's a little cheaper than it was. At, oh boy! Anyway, we won't talk about my bill at at when I, or at Michael's. I did get a new cart for my paint though, so now I'm more organized. I might get another one. Actually, I probably will get another one, just so I can keep most of the stuff on the top two tiers. Because I'm five foot eleven and going all the way down to my feet to get paint—that just sucks. <laughs> so, hello, Clara. Good to see you. But yes, that Dragonfly Glaze is very cool. I'm really liking it. Um, there's a couple other things that I'm going to play around with it with and try it out in different things. And um, with different things. And I, I've got ideas. I've got so many ideas. And that's why Tuesday night you guys get to kind of see what I do with different products and trying out new products and this is kind of hopefully a preemptive to, you know, going live on other platforms as well. Um, you know, when I get a little bit more advanced in my live career. So even though I've been doing this for a year, oh my God, it has been a year. But anyway, I just want to say thank you. The Shane's here too. I miss saying hello to Shane. Hello, Shane. <laughs> WNS? Yes. Oh, I missed you. I'm sorry, honey. Hi, Shane. <laughs> anyway, this is what we got for tonight. 
Um, like I said in the beginning of the live, if you have something you want me to try and play around with and see what kind of crazy things I come up with, um, let me know in the comments down below or message me on our Facebook group or you know what? Send it to me. I've got an Amazon wish list that's like 18 miles long. It's probably on that list. Um, but I can only buy certain things, you know? So um, if there's anything else, Michael, I can't remember anything else. Oh, if you're new to the channel, yes. welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm sorry I didn't welcome you earlier. That's my bad. If you're catching this on the replay, hello and thank you for watching. If you enjoy our little artist vibe and want to join a creative tribe, all you got to do is click that subscribe, hit that notification bell because we go live five days a week and we make lots of art and have lots of fun and snort and laugh and just have a good old time. Tomorrow night is Artapalooza, 7 p.m. right here on this channel. We got all kinds of crazy, wonderful artists coming and we're going to have a great time. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate you. Remember, be kind to one another. Y'all, just be kind. Peace, love, and happiness.